Hi guys, I'm back here with a little work update. I uh, last time talked about how my schedule was changing to the like night shift schedule, so I'd be working from 5 p.m. to 12:30 a.m. And I actually did that only for one week, so the last week of August, I did that schedule, and then they changed it again to back to a morning schedule. So not exactly the same schedule I had before, just like an hour or so in between. It was a little stressful when I was leaving at night because the metro actually stops here um, like 15 minutes after I get out of work. So I have to like make sure I finish work on time, rush to the locker room, change like, and then run to the metro and hope I catch the metro. I was lucky enough that we got out um, either on time or a little bit earlier than I expected. There was one day where I totally read the clock wrong and I thought it was 12.45 so I was like rushing, rushing, rushing and then I get to like the locker room and I do a quick time check and I'm like, oh, I have an hour. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> but it's better to be safe than stranded, right? The La Seine, which is the restaurant that was closed for the summer, um, opened for brunch on Sunday. And I didn't really think too much of it. Like, we were preparing a lot of desserts, but I was just like, okay, you know, we're a hotel, this is normal. Um, but actually, the, uh, the restaurant has this insane buffet uh, for brunch. It's 100 euro per person, I think. Um, and you get like unlimited food and there's just like three different rooms. There's like the hot apps, there's cold apps, there's like a dessert side. And I was, I came in and I was preparing recipes, you know, like usual. And then I'm like, okay, what's next? And they're like, oh, okay, um, Jenny, the other, um, the other intern that actually went to my school, uh, I got to meet her and work with her a little bit before she leaves. Um, she she was told that she was going to show me how to make crepes and i was like okay cool like i so i thought i was going to be back in the kitchen making crepes <laughs> in fact um when we started preparing all this stuff and i started noticing like the bowls that we're putting all the condiments in are like really pretty and nice and then she's like okay you know we have to hurry up you know brunch service is going to start and i was like oh my god oh my god i was like am i going to be serving people She's like, oh yeah, you're gonna be like in the dining room and like, I had a little crib cart. It was so cute. And I had like this little station, but I was terrified. Like I was like, I have to serve people and then make them a crib. You know, I've never made a crib in my entire life. Like. She's like, oh no, it's easy, don't worry. I'm like, yeah, I know it's easy, it's a freaking pancake, but I'm nervous and I had to perform this in front of other people with like no training. She's like, oh, I'll show you how to make one. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm not trained customer service in French, so I was particularly worried about that because I was like, this is gonna be really, really awkward. <laughs> and it was. <laughs> um, but it was funny. You know, when you do customer service, you have like conversationalism, like how's it going? You know, what are you doing? But my French is so limited, plus the anxiety of like learning how to make crepes, plus the anxiety of like speaking about like, <laughs> I have to learn all the different condiments in French. And like, of course I knew them most of the time, but like, it was just, uh, it was like so overwhelming all at once. And they're like, you need to go to lunch now because you have to be back in time for um, the service. And I was like, ah, oh, this is all like happening within five minutes. I'm not prepared. And it's just like, boom, I explode. Like I was literally waiting for me to spontaneously combust. Um, but <laughs> as with most things, when I'm uncomfortable, I just laugh about it. So <laughs> I was just kind of like standing there like, <laughs> this is going to be fun. <laughs> it was just really, really awkward when I was speaking French, like 90% of the time to people because I'd be like, hi, how are you? You know, like, would you like a crepe? And they'd be like, yes. And I'm like, okay, which flavor? And so I would take their order essentially. And then I'd be like, okay, so how's it going? And they're like, it's fine. And I'm like, 
Okay, that's about as much as I know how to ask in French. Apparently, I'm going to be doing this every Sunday, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, because, I don't know, it's fun. It's something new. I love learning new things that I don't know how to do. I was a little bit uncomfortable because I was learning something and then have to like directly perform it, but it was all fine. I came up with my own little techniques. I feel like a crip making master now. I would not say that. Maybe I'm like level one. Um, but it was still really fun and I'm glad that I get to do that. It's a great jolly old time so far um, and I can't wait to see what I'm gonna learn next. I hope that you guys enjoy this and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!